University Office of Decorum and Investigation assists the Committee on Decorum and Investigation, also known as the CODI, in the conduct of investigating complaints of sexual harassment, other forms of sexual misconduct, and inappropriate behavior. It is also the office that assists all parties concerned when it comes to being informed of the investigation procedure as well as guide them through the process. Coordination is also done with different university offices to ensure that appropriate assistance is provided to the complainant, respondent, and their witnesses, that sanctions are properly imposed, and the proper implementation of the code and rules. What the hub contributes to the university is a safe space. We speak of a safe space in three ways. First, we are a safe space for anyone who has experienced sexual harassment or gender-based violence. We, Our message to you is that we are here for you and we are here to listen to you and support you. We are a safe space for care and case response services. Secondly, we see a safe space uh, as a way for coming together as a community as we facilitate conversations for our LGBTIQ plus community, as we facilitate conversations on difficult issues, on sexual consent, on maintaining healthy boundaries. And third, we are a safe space for learning about gender and gender issues. We are here to conduct gender sensitivity training and workshops, not just to prevent and respond to sexual harassment, but also to create discourses of genuine care and respect for the diversity of gender and sexuality. Ateneo de Manila University is both educational institution and workplace. And we have to handle uh, gender and development programs in both contexts. So as the University Gender and Development Office, we oversee and monitor the university, the quorum and investigation system, and the implementation of our code and rules. We are also tasked to develop and coordinate curriculum, education, and information drives, and communicate programs in collaboration with relevant offices and committees. We are hoping that the university will gain the further trust and confidence of the members of the community so that all members of the community, especially the vulnerable minors and the adults, will find the courage to report incidents of sexual harassment, other forms of sexual misconduct, and inappropriate behavior, and to actively engage in a dialogue so that we can all help one another in coming up with systems, policies, practices, and other measures that would keep the university a safe learning space and working space for everyone. We would like to see the greater involvement of our departments and our student organizations in creating this culture of gender inclusivity and gender sensitivity in our university. We hope that um, well, there are departments and student orgs that have taken the initiative no, to facilitate conversations on gender issues, we hope that departments and student orgs will be able to cascade this discussion to teachers and students and staff of our university. Our greater vision perhaps in five or ten years time is that gender equality and gender diversity, gender inclusivity will be associated with Ateneo and that anyone who comes to our school will know that we stand for gender equality and we stand for gender inclusivity. For the Gender and Development Office of the University, I would like to prioritize the next couple of years onboarding, GST, and training for all of the members of the university community. I'd also like to see uh, functional GAD plans and budgets as developed by respective gender and development committees uh, so that gender and development will be locally owned by the different units of the university. And for this, I count on the cooperation 
of the university community in upholding gender and development and ensuring that our university is an inclusive and safe space for all. We are, I believe, a better university for giving importance to gender and development.